Hello and welcome to this tutorial on how I set up a city in the game City Skylines. We are on the map Lavender Lake and one thing I always like to do in the beginning is to look around and plan ahead a little bit where my things want to go later on. So our start then um, after our start we don't have to like change up everything afterwards so I do also make sure I'm paused while I do this because else we will start spending our money because of the maintenance cost of our roads so as always you have to put down one small road to unlock a couple of things what I always like to do is to lower the budget of the water and the electricity just so we can save a little bit of money. Then I like to use the dirt road to plan my road network also because they're cheap in case I need to delete them later on and so I like to use those. My plan here is that I am planning on continuing the highway through my city and eventually connect up here. So I do plan ahead. A lot of people come straight out of here and then put a big road, but that's, that's okay. But later on, if you need a highway in this area, you will have trouble to fit a highway in because if we look over there maybe at some point we want to expand over there we could also have a highway connection like this so it's good maybe like this and like this so that's what i'm planning ahead to put those highways so i do have um, that in mind and this road here we will upgrade later on to a big six lane road like this. For the moment though, the dirt road is just fine. So we will just work with the dirt road for the first couple of milestones. So I am building a road coming out of this future arterial, which is going to be our main street of our houses and then I'm going to start drawing in some blocks. I will make sure that I'm not too close to this um, connection here to avoid traffic problems later on. I like to go out by 880 simoleons or dollars and I also like to leave a gap of two tiles in the middle to put a path later on. Now you can see that I cannot build in this direction yet, but that's no problem. I'll just continue like this. And then as soon as we unlock this tile, which I want to do anyways, because of the farmland, we can do so no problem. So I'm going to draw out my grid, maybe up here. Actually we can go out by 880, not yet. Okay, now let's do one more just so we can build enough housing in the beginning. So if I look at this, my highway can still go through here. So I will stop drawing my grid for the moment. Then on this side here, I'm planning to put my industrial area. So also here, I'm going to draw out a road like this. And then I'll make sure that I have space to go 660 over here and also over here. So I'll measure out a little bit and I can see that this length should be fine. So I will extend this road on either side. So my plan here is that I will start drawing my uh, industrial, industrial area which is also a grid pattern of 660 and I leave one tile in the middle. So
so I can put a walking path in there. I also make sure that I leave enough space around this junction here because this is going to be a highway interchange later on. What I'm also going to do is consider um, to use this area here for some um, supplies for my city. For example, I can put down my coal power plant right there. What I am going to do is upgrade those roads right away. The reason is that sometimes when you upgrade roads later on, um, it can get a little bit difficult. Sometimes then you have to move buildings around, which I am trying to avoid. So I am just going to put down one power plant and then wrap around. And hopefully we can fit our water treatment. No, we can't. So I am actually going to refund this road and shift it over a little bit because I do want my water treatment plant here like this. So now I do want to box it in. So I am going to do it like this. I delete, can delete this road here. Go back to my um, dirt road like this and then continue my big road like this. Now this does seem a little bit like um, it's a waste of money but it's more important to me that everything afterwards will function correctly. I do have to adjust this a little bit just that um, we have enough space in between this junction here. So this is looking okay so far. This side here we can later on also use to put some industrial. Just make sure I can upgrade this road here. Yes, we can. I will just make a little piece like this so I remember that this will be upgraded later. So from here, I can draw my power line over to our area here. And we need to put down some water lines. Now for the water, I like to go underneath the road, um, just because that's the most realistic thing you can do. And if it's space like this, you can go every other road and that will work fine. So I will actually put in the effort to go like this. And also here, if you do it correctly, the part that's not covered is actually underneath the road. So that will work. Maybe if we go one tile up like this. Um, the coverage of the water is actually fine. And then we can start zoning. So obviously we want to zone some residential and I will zone like this, leaving one tile in between the dirt road and the first house because we will upgrade this road later on. So there's actually space for the road to go. And we can also already in the middle um, leave some space for a path going through here and here so that um, we don't have to delete houses later. Um, you don't have to do this but I like the aesthetic and also um, it will help with some traffic issues later on. So I will zone these houses. See everything's covered by water and then I will start the game. Can also delete this small piece of road I put there here and we wait for our first citizens to move in and we can put the game on full speed as you can see as soon as we start um, we are losing money so we are just waiting for people to move in and to start working and of course we also need a source of water 
Um, in the beginning, I do like to just put down a water tower, which we can put here for the moment. Then it will be covered by electricity and also um, not get polluted by our um, by our industry. So I am going to upgrade a small piece of road here, so we can actually. Um, put down some commercial zoning. I'm also just going to um, put down a power line like this so the power can jump over. And now there's going to be a big demand for industry. So we are going to put down some space for factories and while everything is growing i'm already going to go through and turn off all the junctions we have because at this point of the game of course there's so little traffic we do not need um, junctions so now a lot of people are moving in and actually also we're making money as we are only um Starting with 70,000, um, it's almost impossible to um, go through all the milestones without eventually taking a loan, especially if you're trying to build reasonably from the start, meaning that you can, uh, we don't have to delete so many things afterwards. So, um, yeah, just keep that in mind that I think no one would ever start a city with so little money. So, uh, I think it's fine to take a loan. So I'm already drawing in this curve here because I do want to keep my highway in mind. So when I continue drawing out my city, I know that now as we hit the first or next milestone, I'm quickly gonna pause the game. Um, um, yes. We know that our main road also has to take a turn here, maybe already from there, just so um, yeah, we keep, um, we don't have to delete that afterwards. So we have a couple of things unlocked. Um, behind this residential, um, we can put down um, also some services or things we might need. So I am going to build a road like this and go parallel to the highway. And that's where our first school can go. Um, I'm a teacher in real life, so obviously I have an interest in providing good education in my city. Then the second thing we need is trash collection. I do like to put down recycling centers because um, I do not like how you have to empty the landfills later on. So I am going to invest a little bit of money and actually go broke right away by putting down a recycling center. Now, we will have our um, main arterial here. And um, I'm thinking to put the recycling centers right along or it's the only thing that's separately connected to our arterial because the trash collecting has to move around fast and also produces quite a lot of traffic. So I'm going to put down the trash collecting here along a road like this, which will leave space to upgrade this part of the road later on. And that leaves us just enough money to build our first recycling center like this. Um, it is covered by water, which is good. And we should increase our budget for electricity a little bit. Also use the opportunity to raise taxes a little bit to 12%. People will not get at a 12% and still not this, um, yeah, still be happy to come to your city. So 
this is nicely developing. Um, the dirt roads are completely fine in the beginning. Don't need anything more than a dirt road. We do, however, need some more commercial. So I'm gonna upgrade our main boulevard and put down some more commercial, maybe up to here, because I do want to keep in mind I have to turn away here. Maybe we can plan ahead and put down one more grid for housing, which, and then um, plan the curve. So this was perfect actually, which is good. Always glad if it works out like this. And we can put down some more housing for people to move in and continue with our water grid like this. So I am going go to go ahead and continue with our road. I do want to use the road guidelines, so I am going to um, make this highway a little bit longer so that then I can go like this maybe make the curve as smooth as possible I think that's fine so we still have some zoning space here when we um, upgrade this um, road to a highway we can use the full zoning space later on so we do need to increase our water budget because people are complaining and at this point i usually just put it to 100 percent because what well, now we're making money so that's fine you may have noticed that i haven't put a healthcare facility yet first of all we don't have the money and second of all it takes very long until people get sick so Usually I wait quite a long time until I do so. Usually I wait until the first person gets sick, actually. So I am going to pause the game and see how we can continue. We've unlocked a couple of things. Um, I think the most important thing at this point is to um, put down a firehouse because, um, yeah, the fire spreading is always a little bit of a thing. And, um, those cities. I am going to upgrade, upgrade this part of the road so I don't accidentally block myself and then I can put down the firehouse right here giving nice access to the main highway. Just quickly check our electricity and I think now I can go just up to here and that will be enough for uh, electricity to spread around and we could actually also put down a police station usually you don't need them so quickly but we have a little bit of money left trash collection actually let's save up for another recycling center first because people are going to produce quite a lot of trash so let's do that first provide some water as soon as we have enough money i will take a loan later but for the moment we're just going to quickly wait for some money to come in there we go so we do have a lot of residential demand which obviously we should try to provide. So we should provide some opportunities to um, build some housing. So as we've run out of money, I am going to take the big loan. As I said before, it's very unrealistic to start a city with only 70,000. So. I just feel like there's no other option than taking a loan. Now here we've we run into our first little problem that if I want to continue my grid, the road will bend and that will give us some 
broken zoning space. So what I'm thinking is if I delete this, can I make a good connection? Yes, I am going to make a triangle here and that's going to give our first park later on in the game. And as this is kind of a break in the grid, we then will change up the pattern a little bit and our housing grid will become shorter. But um, I think it's also nice to kind of have a change in the pattern so the yeah the grid doesn't get too boring. So um, yeah, in fact, actually, we can we buy another square? We can. So I am going to purchase this square here and also extend my grid over here like this. Uh -huh. Of course, here now is also a little bit of a problem. So let's continue the grid like this first. Then Soon we can also actually just using the uh, start using the real road, but for the moment, let's provide a police station in the middle of the main road. Let's extend our water pipes like this and come down like this maybe and follow the roads. This is a little bit inefficient, but it's just more realistic this way. So the whole thing is covered. And then we can start zoning some more residential, continuing our pattern with the gap inside our block. As soon as we unlock parks and landscaping, we are going to start decorating and putting down some path networks to increase the walkability, especially because we are, don't have any public transport at the moment. So here, it's already a little break in our grid, but we will still zone some houses, maybe also zone a house there. And we will also need to zone some more industrial and maybe also some more commercial. Here I'm going to do some zoning like this. Actually, it's also, I think, nice to have some dis different textures, maybe even put two um, odd sizes in there. While we wait to, for people to move in, let's deactivate all the junctions and we do have um, some money from our loan so i'm actually going to start upgrading this road um, we will make a highway interchange there later on so i'm just going to upgrade the parts that um, we need or we can at the moment not in a hurry deactivate all the junctions We'll have to move this water tower, I just noticed. Um, so I will do that as soon as we expand in this direction. So we just have to wait for some more people to move in and for our de demand to develop. So in the meantime, I'm going to start upgrading some roads. First, I will upgrade this road here because I also want a row of commercial on this road here and actually because i've done that i can actually also do that like this and then uh, our power has jumped over which is great so we can um, watch this row of commercial on the edge of the town just see see it grow education yeah slowly we must think about our second elementary school, which I probably will put uh, close to this park. So maybe we can already plan ahead a little bit, upgrade this road, upgrade this road here, 
as we hit the next milestone. Um, so far I've taken one time the big loan, I've saved up or I have a little bit of reserve. Um, we can build a high school now. Um, with education it takes a long time for people to get educated. Um, so I do always, if I unlock um, the next level of education, I put it down just so um, people have always enough access for education facilities or to ed education facilities. So what I'm going to do is make a little education campus around here with our high school, which I'll put down after upgrading this road. So I will put down a high school like this and an elementary school on the opposite side. So they have a, a small education campus around there. Um, our garbage is still fine. We do have some money left. So I will to, um, do two things. I will draw this park area, as I said before. This is going to be our first park. Not like this. Obviously, we do want to be a little bit nice also with our districts. So I am going to follow the roads like this. Then I will also upgrade this road here. So um, we can place our gates to our first city park. Because it's very small, I am just going to put the small gates and then put one gate on every side and make um, a triangular connection like this and we can start filling in some stuff um, maybe put a plaza on this side um, opposite to this plaza we can put down the cafe um, I always like to put the information booth next to the park, park's main entrance. And of course, we also will need some toilets. So put the toilet next to um, th those two entrance entrances. And I think that's fine. The last thing I will do is I will put down some fences so people will actually use the gates now because this here is a curved road i think i am going to use the freeform tool just to get a little curve into our um, fence as well so it will look nice from the outside and let's see if we have enough entertainment no we don't so we have to put down one more thing um, the terraforming is also a little bit strange but i think i am going to just cover it with some landscaping later so let's see what we can put down um how about a second no i like to be symmetrical um let's just put down two cafes on either side of the park although do we like this doesn't look so nice let's do it nicely actually um, see if we can do something to the terrain uh, it is on a slope because we're close to this lake so i think actually I'll try to rearrange the whole thing a little bit let's put down the plaza in the middle and then opposite of the plaza let's put two cafes next to each other and then i will cover up the rest with some landscaping um, by putting some trees onto this wonky terrain also on this side and then later on we can see what we can do with this so do we have enough yes so this is our first park um, we will speed up a little bit so that we can generate some demand for various stuff so 
I cannot yet upgrade this. I would like to upgrade just so I can um, use the sounding space a little bit better. But in the meantime, I'm just going to sound a nice row of commercial down here. As you may have noticed, I haven't put, um, I haven't sound this here because I do not want cars to stop on this part of the road. Let's quickly check on our stuff and you can see that we, oh yeah, as I'm saying this, we are having complaints um, for a lack of electricity. Now, um, I will take a loan to pay for a second power station just because I do not want to wait um, for it to, um, for, yeah, to, I don't want to save money basically. So I am going to use the money I have at the moment to continue zoning or expanding my industry area a little bit like this. And actually, if I upgrade this road here, do I have industrial roads? Yes, I do. Industrial roads are a little bit cheaper, I think, to maintain because they're louder. Now, because it's so far away from our um, residential area, that's not a problem. So I will start 30 per cell and the other one is 40. So we can save a little bit of money. Now here we will put down just a little bit of smaller industry because we do need at least one tile for our highway. So let's continue and see um, how this develops. Now I am going to start putting down some path in my house and blocks. Before I do that, actually, let's upgrade some roads. I will later on upgrade those roads to roads with bicycle lanes, also just to support traffic a little bit. Let's upgrade everything. Hope I have enough money. Just so it's easier to put down the path network. So now my money has run out. It's no problem. We're earning money and we will use all the money we earn to put down our pass. Now this is annoying, but if you trick the system, it will connect up nicely. You just don't want to connect because it's going to snap to the node, so you just stop right in front of the path and it will auto connect with the path. So here I will have to quickly upgrade those and I will continue my path network through the city. Now, doing these path networks not only is it quite relaxing, also while the game runs, it will actually allow you to save up a little bit of money. Of course, you also spend money by placing down path networks, but they're quite cheap and they're definitely worth it just because, um, yeah, you, it will help people move around and maybe they will leave their car at home, which is what we want. So here, just going to do like this. And I will have to upgrade this road. And I think yes, that's everything. So, well, we of course will need some more parks on the other side of the town. Sorry for throwing you out, but the city needs this space for putting down path networks. So we do have our path network. Later on, if I have a lot of money, I will put down trees along these 
path along this path so to make it look even nicer so how does our city look we have a huge demand again for residential so let's see how we can collect connect this up let's see if we can do it like this it's always a you know a little change in the grid is actually not too bad so that on the other hand we need to be able to snap together and here yeah we just need um we can use this space here sorry to put down for example a park which we are going to do so i'm gonna put down a park here and then on this side we should probably also put down a park and we're going to put down a big one right here and i think that's yes perfect that will look very nice later on garbage not so good Healthcare, we do maybe need first. We need two water towers here because this one here needs to go like this. Now we cut the power once again. So I am going to connect it like this, although if I want to build one, my highway on uh, interchange, we'll have to do it like this. So I think now we should be fine. Power is okay. How about loans, budget, everything? Yeah, so we just have to wait and save up some money. Uh, in the meantime, do we have water up here? We do. We can sound a little bit more residential. So some people can move in. Like this. Here, one house can go. Here, one house. Here, one house. You know, we will need some water. Probably running around this road like this. And we can hear the famous ping of City Skylines when we hit next level. First, we will need more garbage processing and everything else. We should probably by now put down a clinic, which we can do here right or actually maybe we can use one of those awkward spaces here so let's do it here across from this park and we also need a cemetery now because we have already started some awkward zoning in here why not put the cemetery right next to this park and we can then connect in some path networks which will make or let people walk around like this and the rest then we can just zone i'm going to just quickly connect up this road as well like this and then I can continue with my path through here. And also here, there should be enough space yes, to build a path. It's a little bit awkward because the terrain is not completely even. I think it should be fine. 
So let's continue. Let's see. Our graveyard needs water, which we can of course provide. And we can continue with a little bit of residential. And of course I built the wrong road here, so let's downgrade to a regular road. And here we can also put down some paths inside this block. Like this and like this and why not have a path come down here and come from here. So it's very easy to walk around and then we can just decorate those empty spaces with some trees and some overgrowth. With this, and it will look way more alive. These guys probably very happy to have this park behind them. And here also we will decorate a little bit, or actually let's just sell some housing because we do need some people moving in. Um, here we can already build some commercial, extend our water system, connect up here, these guys are fine, and we do need some more industrial next. So let's take the industrial road and actually convert everything we have so far to industrial then we can continue our industry grid put on some snapping to the grid or to everything basically and i will just continue a little bit like this and then every second street we connect the water and have some industry growing here like this later on or actually i can do that right now as well i want to put down some paths through here also if people can walk to their workplace we are very happy if they do so Yes, and now we just wait a little bit. There is a fire, yeah, fire coverage probably isn't that great. I also like to put down a firehouse in my industry area, um, but should we do it right now? Sure, let's do it. Firehouse. Now, as you can see, um, traffic is still doing fine, but it's starting to become a little bit more dense. And also we're running out of electricity, so Let's prioritize, can we um, take a loan? So like if I pay back and take it, I have a little bit more money. That will allow me to put down the next coal power plant. Eventually I will want to go green and use the geothermal power plant. But at the moment it's not unlocked yet. So we have to use the coal ones so we're expanding towards this farmland another plan is to go into using the farming industry um, unfortunately we do not have enough money at the moment to set it up um, so we do want to um, 
yeah, see that our city functions well. And then as soon as we have the money, we are going to upgrade our industry into being a farming area. I'm just going to upgrade this part of the highway so I can zone um, zone commercial here. Yeah, the highway is going to come very close to the lake using up the prime real, real estate of our city, but that's fine. Um, we are going to put down some more housing this also here and here um, do they have water yes it's good maybe we could do with a plaza here and here it do cost a little bit of money but um, people will upgrade and hopefully pay more, pay more tax which um, of course will pay off in the long run. So apart from that, I think you can hear everyone upgrading. Um, but I do want to start working on my highway interchange. Now, um, also we have people walking to work, which is great. Um, yeah, for my highway interchange, I have two options basically i can do um, the sunken one or the overpass i i'm planning on doing the sunken one so let's prepare for that um, probably we do not have enough money to do it right away but we can um, start working on it um, anyways so i am going to build it myself like i use a pre-built highway interchange so I'm going to connect up roads like this and then go by 160 160 160 and 160 nice why is it not symmetrical that's very annoying so let's try again we only need 140 on this side seems so it's not perfect but we're just gonna pretend that it's perfect and then we will need to sink in this area here so we can put down the highway and then um, build a bridge and um, yeah make them go the I would like make the highway go underneath the road yeah now this um, is already looking a little bit um, busy maybe I can already upgrade those and upgrade those although we don't really need those at the moment but and it's always nice to be able to make it already look a little bit professional. So can we take up a loan again? No. So I'm just going to save up a little bit of money while the houses keep developing. And then um, as soon as we have enough money, I'm going to build the highway interchange so we did upgrade our park which unlocked the chessboard which I think we can put down here yeah yeah it's okay I can put trees and their tenant is fine so let's just put down a couple of bushes maybe to oh this yeah well, let's do trees then just because we want to hide the ugly terrain around my chessboard there's always a sweet spot you sometimes can hit right so yeah now 
our traffic of course now probably we have a traffic light here which we do not want because it's gonna make a traffic jam so let's start working on our oh and while i'm at it let's start off those traffic lights here quickly go through do we have more traffic lights we do power them off so we do want to build our highway interchange so let's quickly pause the game so we don't mess up um, again and we will need to use our terraforming tools and go down a little bit and use the level terrain tool to make this hole or this ditch rather for our highway to be in i hope it will fit in we need two highways next to each other because um, it's an interchange only a two-lane highway has to fit so we will use the two-lane highway and i hope we can fit in those two lane highways like this yes and then we want them to con connect up like this so um, we do want our sloping tool so we can provide a nice slope so it doesn't be turn into a roller coaster like this and on this side as well we do want our sloping tool like this yes that looks fine and then we connect up to the road I hope we're deep enough and see that the road is going to the right direction so now moment of truth are we in deep enough uh, maybe i calculated that a little bit too tight when we when you go vanilla of course um, it's always a little bit difficult to correct your stuff but should be able to fix it if we do it like this um how do we do it 400 400 and then that's uh, so annoying so okay. let's try again just always have to be patient let's use the road guidelines can we go like this yes we can and then connect up yes and then use the highway can we curve this a little bit to make it look better i think we should so we'll just make it do it like this yes and that's our first highway in the change done um, obviously we will decorate a little bit later on and last thing we do we still have 20,000 is upgrading the entrance into our city so now uh, power 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 
we will connect our power and then um, we will check for traffic lights. We do not want traffic lights here and we can continue running the game now. It will yeah, be messed up for a little while just because the cars get confused but then um, this should now work fine. Actually turned out quite nice I think and yeah we can see our city time. I will continue our big arterial road. Maybe it's a little bit steep this bridge. No, it's fine. And for people who would maybe want to walk here, we could make a connection maybe. No. Why does it snap to this road but not to this one? Fine, let's do it like this. Um, yeah, it's not perfect, but it will connect up like this. Good. Now, as you can see, we're making quite a lot of money. So, actually, I think this city is now ready to expands um, quite freely, freely, like the hardest part of the beginning is done. So what I will do next is quickly check all my facilities, especially health and death care is fine, probably garbage is doing not fine. So um, let's put down One or two more, two more um, garbage collecting facilities. Once this road is filled up, we've probably expanded so much that we will put down a second service area. Water still doing fine. Fire could be doing better, to be honest, because this part of town doesn't seem to be to be so safe. And I think we have the perfect corner here to put down a firehouse and that then will be um, a good base to continue expanding. Um, if you're interested in seeing that, um, I will be happy to hear some comments to for me to continue building up. Of course, I would like to um, start building a farming area on this side. Um, yeah, we definitely need to put this firehouse, which I'm going to do like this. Yes, much better. Quickly see entertainment could also be doing better. And of course, we can put down some basketball port next to the school. Is there still space for the highway? Yes, perfect. So, yeah. I hope you like this um, tutorial of how I would start my city. Um, I'm interested to hearing your comments. How probably, um, how, what you think and how you would do it yourself. And with that, I will um, end it here. So thank you very much for watching and see you next time.